So our ambition with Players Night is to live the journey. We have lived the journey for six years with Jordan Lewis. In his first year, he won a flag, the best and fairest, and went all Australian. He's got a, he had a big head that year, didn't he? <laughs> and he lived it all the way through to retirement day. Jordan Lewis, congratulations and welcome. Thank you. Well yeah, done, who would have thought I was still here? How on the desk. Yes. Yeah. How was the day? Yeah, it, it was good. I was a little bit, not apprehensive at the start of the day, but I just wanted it to sort of end in a way that I, because I knew it would take a lot out of me emotionally and, uh, and you know, the interviews and the questions. And But it was good to, um, to recap in a sense, I suppose, at the press conference, there was questions there that sort of take you back a little bit. And I think that's what every player does when they get to the end of their career and they finally call time, they then start to cast their mind back, which you don't quite often get to do when you're playing. So before we reminisce, I'm not sure if you've seen this, but Ollie and Huey. So Jordan's sort of vaguely on duty. He's sort of got split attention. Just, just see where see where the boys ended up when Geordie just turned his back. He's posing for the photos. There's sort of just a little disturbance in the oh, background. Here we go. <laughs> like, the birds. They're doing something you've never away. done. They're, they're running into defence, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Look how far they went. I remember, so we were getting photos, obviously you can clearly see it there, and I, and I looked around, I could not believe they were that far away chasing the pigeons. Where was the wife? Well, they can't get out of the MCG, so we're thinking about taking them once or twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> they just let them chase the pigeons around the oval. Great babysitting duties. Did you, were you asked today about a whole range of things, sorry I couldn't get there, we couldn't get there with the Ross Lyon stuff. From your, from your successes, from your family time, your volatility, which... I've brought up with you several times in the last six years. Was, was that mentioned today? No, no, it wasn't. Well, that's a waste of a good <laughs> quote, wasn't it? Um, I mean, it's, it's always a hard one to answer. I think I've always been that person that, I mean, is super competitive, even when it's a, an argument between mates. I, um, I want to win that as well. And, yeah, and I, I think that was just part of maybe the way I played the game and... And I, would, I never premeditated to go out there and to get reported or or suspended. So it was just it's yeah, probably the unfortunate thing of my career. But you know, in saying that, I, I might not have been here if I didn't I was going play to say, like that. If you if you didn't have it, would you have survived for so long in this game? It's hard to say. Um, I suppose that my biggest strength would have been my adaptability to play different positions. I think that's. Probably the main reason why I was able to prolong my career. Yeah, there was countless times when I looked out of form and, and looked like getting dropped. And Clarko would either give me a second chance or find another position that would play me into form and then I would go back to a position where I would feel more comfortable. 